The hungry and the homeless don't need pity or sorrow, and they don't need tears. They need help, and they need to know that someone cares. At least the words of someone who does care and who's doing something about it. He is Al Gomes, a Jefferson Award winner this year. Al is someone more and more people are getting to know and respect. Give a piece of our hearts to keep this beating. This is the album. Let's starve our selfish thoughts and let's start feeding. These are the people. Our minds with empathy. And here's the man who made Rhode Island bandwagon possible, 27-year-old Al Gomes. Unlike other college graduates his age, the only upwardly mobile ladder Al has climbed belongs to the hungry and the homeless. It was Live Aid, music with a purpose, that gave Al the idea to form Bandwagon. To me, it was like an unbelievable event, and I wanted to duplicate it. I, I had a feeling, and I wanted to duplicate that feeling again, and I knew the only way to do it was to do it on a personal level. Al spent time at the Amos House to see firsthand what being homeless is all about. And this is the Rhode Island Food Bank. Two and a half million pounds of food were distributed to the needy through the food bank last year alone. And that still is not enough to fill the stomachs of all of the hungry in Rhode Island. Al approached the food bank's executive director with his idea to raise money through song. Because a lot of people have ideas and they come to us and say, what do you think, let's do it, but then they kind of fall by the wayside. But Al was very persistent. While Bandwagon is helping to raise some money for the food bank, more importantly, it's helping to raise the public consciousness about hunger here in Rhode Island. After Live Aid, people knew nationally and internationally, but we had to bring it down to the level of Rhode Island, and that's what Al did for us, to bring it all home. Caring, unselfish, and he always puts everybody else first. Cindy Hathaway met Al at an album release concert. Her accolades are the same. As proud as I am of Van Wagon, it's, it's really a sin that we have to do these projects to begin with, you know. It's, um, you know, we, we hear about living in the land of plenty and stuff, yet there are millions of people who don't really know what that expression means anymore. And that's really, it's, a, it's really a shame. And May will be proclaimed Hunger and Homeless Awareness Month in Rhode Island thanks to Al Gohm and Rhode Island Bandwagon.